Now let's look at one of our voting methods. Three candidates, A, B, and C, are running for mayor of a small town. The results of the election are shown in the following preference table. We want to determine the winner using the plurality method. The plurality method means we're only going to look at the number of first choice votes. So we're going to determine the number of first choice votes for each of the three candidates. Let's start with candidate A. We notice that candidate A appears in our first choice row only in this first column where we have 1,200 votes. Let's go to candidate B. Candidate B appears in the row where we're going to have 900 votes from the third column, plus we have 600 votes from the last column. Adding those together gives candidate B 1,500 votes. Candidate C, notice, appears in this row for first choice, only in our second column here, where we're going to have 900 votes. And so using the plurality method, we'll take the greatest number of votes, 1,500, and declare candidate B the winner.